A new chapter in the long and heated rivalry between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Illinois Fighting Illini takes shape. Basketball tickets drive this latest drama. That is the top story at 6. The Illini's famed Orange Crush student section hoped to have 200 members at Saturday's game at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Some of the students raised charitable donations to be allowed on the trip. Orange Crush leaders say Iowa's athletics department invalidated their tickets Wednesday night. Hawkeye headquarters Blake Hornstein joins us live from Carver Hawkeye Arena with a closer look. Blake. Jim, we're getting ready for the big women's game tonight against Maryland, but we have some information or lack thereof. Iowa Athletics wouldn't grant us an interview today, but let's read this statement they sent out last night. The Iowa Athletics Department became aware of discounted group ticket order for the Iowa-Illinois men's basketball game on behalf of an Illinois chapter of the Boys and Girls Club. And following up with that organization, it became clear this was not factual. When contacting the individual who made the original ticket order, they admitted to falsely ordering tickets under the nonprofit organization. Now, the original ticket order refunded, and those tickets instead going to the Boys and Girls Club of the Corridor serving Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. Now, they can have all 200, but have only asked for 50 so far. This being such a big game, um, it, it was really great because, again, I, I would go back to this. Our kids and families usually don't get these kinds of opportunities. So uh, for them to be able to attend a game of this magnitude was really cool. And that's all we thought. Now, 85% of the kids in the Boys and Girls Club do come from below the poverty level. It's nice that they get a chance to watch some great basketball here on Saturday. In Iowa City, Blake Hornstein, Hawkeye Headquarters. Blake, thank you. Now, leaders of the Orange Crush from the University of Illinois didn't think they were doing anything seriously wrong. They thought it was okay to use the club's name while not referencing a specific club. It's actually something the group has done for 20 years to go to a road game by usually making up a fake charity. The Crush takes issue with the University of Iowa waiting so long to reject all 200 tickets bought in September. It wasn't until yesterday the athletics department notified the group the tickets were being revoked. Now the group can't get money back for the buses it reserved. We're just going to have to eat the cost of the charter buses, and that's fine. That's the risk that we took because Iowa does reserve the right to um, take back the tickets at any point. So that is the risk that we incurred, and we'll just eat the cost of that. The Orange Cross will lose nearly $6,000 for those buses. That's almost a fifth of the group's budget. Must